you have a right to remain silent. And I honestly hope that you exercise that right. So an overworked public defender who does not come from the public that you come from defends your freedom half-heartedly. Son, you don't know what a trap house is until you stepped inside of a courthouse, shackled and cuffed like your ancestors, judge looking at you like a direct deposit on payday. You, my dude, are a payday, a quota. With the quarter of your life hanging in the balance of lady justice, can't see nothing but dark meat. You, my dude, are food, ready to be consumed in the belly of the beast. Lucky that you got this far because police normally hold trials in the streets. Silencing you like Grant Gray or Gardner or silenced in the hole like Khalif. Will you take this plea bargain of legal mumble jumbo jargon or wait up to five years to be judged by peers who do not look like you, think like you, hang with brothers like you? They'd rather hang brothers like you than hang juries because you remind them of their worst fears. Basically, my brother, you got two options. Tell me what I want to hear or wait for a trial that might not come for another three to five years. I will make your bail so high that it'll force your mama to cry and say, son, I can't help you this time because I am the judge, which means I am your mama now. And I'm ready to give life. So you better start talking or this gavel will be your last chance at freedom or put the last nail in your coffin. I will bury you so deep in paperwork and red tape that by the time you get out of prison, your youngest son will be walking through those gates.